So we're doing a LIFO-1, high LIFO-1 advancement here. This is a cleft patient, so you will see this maxilla is in two pieces. This is the first piece here. I want to show you, uh, put a retractor here, please. So then this is another piece. You can see both the maxilla moving separately. Yeah, so he had his primary surgery done another city, I think, 20 years ago. He has this major underbite. You see what I've done. Uh, so I've there's a large fish flow also here. If you can see, you see that. So I've made a different kind of a design for the flap for the soft tissue. I've detached the septum, I've advanced the upper jaw in two pieces. So it's always possible to do that. It's a bit more challenging. It's much more difficult, but it's possible still. And I'm going to show you with the bone hook 
how free these segments are now. So after I've done the down fracture, I've freed it totally, you see that? So you can see the amount of advancement, it's coming so easily, it's much more than a centimeter. I don't need that kind of advancement, I'm just showing you the freeness of the aperture on both the sides, this side is even more free. So the advancement is going to be a little bit more on one side, and because that's a cleft side as you can see, and uh, when you don't have a bone grafting done, and then this is the kind of uh, a defect that you can see. And yes, as I mentioned earlier, this can be treated straight away. It's a bit challenging, slightly different techniques, high osteotomy cuts, and uh, we also have to make a different splint that will hold the segment together. And also, you can, um, you can move these two segments in different dimensions a little bit now, so I can correct the occlusion also by moving them separately. That's also something I do in a lot of my patients to give them a good occlusion when they haven't got their primary done in the right time. So just fixed this upper jaw. As I mentioned earlier, this is a two-piece maxilla. I've moved the cleft side of the maxilla by seven millimeters, as you can see here, and this one by five millimeters. You can see the difference in the advancement. There's also a little bit gap between the two segments anteriorly because I want to get some little bit vertical, um, what shall I say, projection. But also the most important aspect of this is I've left the soft tissue attached here. It's a different kind of an incision as you can see. This is because the patient had a cleft alveolus that wasn't operated upon earlier. And now you can see that we've got very good um, fixation. My occlusion is not bad as well. Just relax a little bit. So that's the splint with the occlusion for the time being. This is the intermediate splint. So you can see the improvement already. The upper jaw is now almost sitting in front of the lower jaw. But we don't have the best of occlusion yet. This is end on. But that's going to settle down one side of the lower jaw, which is going to start right down. See that? That's the cut. And uh, the fixation is totally different on this side. I want to show you how it's here. There's also a slightly bigger gap on this side. But I've got one fixation there, another one there. Because of the difference in the anatomy and because of the slight difference in the osteotomy as well. I think you can see that the fixation is different, but we've got good occlusion. 
you can see that so these eyelids will be removed and uh, he can he doesn't live nearby so he's not been he's, i don't think he's gonna go for orthodontics he's probably gonna get some teeth here and then should be fine i'm just gonna show you the huge improvement this has brought about this is the edema mind you but you can see the nice proportion that we've achieved even the angle all the way up to this I don't know. 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 I don't know.